Could I add something on the question about what more Canada could do? Uh, we entirely support the comments that have been made by Ms Lung, and uh, I would say there are three key things. The first is, of course, that the Canadian government can and should call unequivocally for Jimmy Lai's immediate release. They should do that publicly, but also in their bilateral engagement uh, with, with China and with Hong Kong officials. Secondly, we'd ask that Canada also raise concerns about this case and what it represents in multilateral fora. Uh, in the no next number of weeks, we have at the Human Rights Council the UN Special Rapporteur on Torture giving her annual report, and we would expect to see Canada raising the very grave concerns about Andy Lee and Jimmy Lai when they have an opportunity to speak in the interactive dialogue in respect of torture. And being silent, we think, would be the wrong thing to do there. But thirdly, we would say, uh, and following what Ms Lung has said, uh, there are 300,000 Canadians in Hong Kong currently. There are over 200 Canadian companies in Hong Kong currently. Mm. And Jimmy Lai's case is a cautionary tale because what we've seen is essentially state-sponsored theft of a business, hugely successful business, hugely successful media company, shut down by order of the executive. And every single Canadian company that is operating in Hong Kong with the current national security law and with sedition laws in place is risking action like that being taken against them. If any of their employees like a tweet uh, that the authorities don't like, speak out of turn or stand up to the authorities. And that is something which is of grave concern for all Canadian businesses and all Canadian people who are currently in Hong Kong. And the Canadian government must speak out for them. Merci. Merci, Monsieur Gord. Thank you, Mr.